guys, it's Thomas here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix an issue on your MacBook Pro where your speakers aren't playing any sound. There's usually not an actual hardware issue with your speakers. Your system's usually just not registering the sound or not outputting the sound properly. So today we're going to discuss a couple of fixes and hopefully one works for you. Alright guys, so there's a couple fixes for this issue on your computer with no sound, but before we get into those, I'm just going to show you the basic steps you should take that might solve your problem for most people. So the first step is to open uh, System Preferences by clicking the Apple logo. Uh, click on System Preferences. Click on Sound and check output and make sure that your output is set as MacBook Pro speakers. And then of course check your output volume and make sure that's correct as well. It should just be right somewhere in the middle there. The next step you should take is to just test out Siri. So it may sound kind of dumb, you know, testing out Siri if your audio is not working, but for some reason when you turn on Siri, it does something to your system that just kind of resets the audio. So there's two ways to turn on Siri. If you have a MacBook Pro with a touch bar, then simply hit the Siri icon on the touch bar. Like so. If you don't, then you can just click on the Siri icon in the top bar of your computer, in the top right corner, and it will activate. If that still doesn't fix your issue, then the next step we're going to take is just to click the Apple logo and restart your computer. Now I'll just wait for that to restart. Okay, so now that your computer is restarted, you should just test out the audio. And don't worry, if it's still not working, there's a few more uh, steps we can take to solve the issue. So the next step I would do is open Spotlight Search by clicking Command and the spacebar at the same time. And search for Audio MIDI. And just open this app, Audio MIDI Setup, and it has a little piano keyboard as an icon. And here it will show all of your different output devices for your computer. You want to make sure that you see MacBook Pro speakers and that it is set as an output. And right here you should have this little speaker icon. That means that it's being used as an output device. If you don't have that, then you should click the little plus button and click create multi-output device. And then you're going to make sure use MacBook Pro speakers is checked. And then you'll right click this and click use this device for sound output. Okay, if this still doesn't solve your issue, the next step we're going to take is to reset your PRAM. So to do that, you're going to hit the Apple logo and shut down your computer. Alright, so once your computer is completely shut off, make sure that you have your hands ready to hold down the Command, Option, P, and R keys. Then you're going to quickly press the power button and then start holding down those keys. You should see a flash of the Apple logo. And then once it appears for the second time, you can release those keys and your PRAM should be reset. And now you'll just wait for your computer to start up normally. Alright guys, if this still didn't work for you, then the final step that we can take before contacting Apple support is creating a new user account. So you're going to hit the Apple logo, System Preferences. Then you're going to click Users and Groups. Click this little lock to make changes and authenticate with your password. And now you'll click this plus button and create a new account, full name, account name, password, and you'll create that user. Then you're going to want to switch to this account. And then you'll see this data and privacy screen, just click next or continue. Sign in with your Apple ID. Wait for uh, your account to be set up. Click continue. Click continue one more time. Click continue. Hey, set up Hey Siri later. Click not now. Click continue. And 
then click continue one more time and you can set up touch ID later since this is just a test account so click continue click continue click continue and wait for it to set up your account now on your new user account just test out your sounds and if it still doesn't work then I would definitely just Talk to Apple support and see if they can help you. It's probably a hardware issue. So yeah, pretty much. All right guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and that this solved your problems. If it does and you're getting sound right now, then let me know by hitting that subscribe button. And if you're still having problems, then just let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.